ay alis sa iyo kaibigan sa bawat yapak ng paa may bakas na iiwan bakas ng pag-asa na nakalaan sa iyo Konnichiwa, Roxette here and in this vlog or webcam diary, I want to tell you about my Worldwide Walk 2 experience featuring Kitty. So in order for me to be able to film in under 10 minutes, I decided to write an essay or a blog entry, however you want to describe it. Let's get started. It's not the same. Uh, experiencing something for the first time and sharing it for the first time through an impromptu speech. There's something raw about being able to express it verbally, having said it only once. Unfortunately, due to a system failure, I lost a good 20 minute footage of me doing all that. But at least right now, it calls for a second chance and first attempt into articulating my thoughts on the paper, hoping that I'm able to give it justice in under 10 minutes as to not bore potential listeners or my future self who could be watching this years or so from now. I vlog the moments leading up to the most important event itself, but not the actual occurrences that is the climax of the story. I decided to live the experience as opposed to desperately trying to capture the perfect moment on a 16 by 9 camera frame, defeating the purpose of living a life that is natural to the heart. <laughs> There's a lot to say, yet not much to tell. If you watched the other footage, you'd know the trouble that went into booking our accommodations at Amelie Hotel Manila, located between two of the important locations of this event, the starting lane of the Worldwide Walk at CBCP and the finish line at Kirina Grandstand um, where simultaneously our district of Metro Manila South conducted the world record attempt for the largest human sentence along with other records for a uh, largest human mosaic, mosaic, <laughs> largest charity walk at uh, single and multiple venues and most nationalities in the charity walk that we mostly broke as far as I know. That paragraph pretty much summarizes the event, but absolutely not the experience. Amelie Hotel was a cozy place to keep our stuff and get a good rest, uh, to energize ourselves for the great activities we came for. I'm quite surprised that it's located at a Korean community, yet it's filled with Japanese people. Ah, much to my amusement. I got quite frustrated at the fact I suspiciously felt almost scammed by the people who booked our hotel sea trip. But I had an assertive sister who covered for me, so instead of paying extra for the trouble we didn't do, it was their problem to solve. It was a lesson I hope they learned to book the earliest to avoid these kinds of petty and un unnecessary issues. Uh, this was on a Saturday morning, uh, the day before May 6th, by the way. Uh, we slept till 6 in the evening after checking in at 12 noon and walked to Kirino Grandstand for the attendance confirmation along with a live concert at 8 p.m. But we walked back home instead of staying to watch the event. It was broadcasted on TV anyway. We bought a pares for our dinner and slept till before midnight because we needed to go back there again for the official pre-count. The walk from our hotel to the grandstand and vice versa was like doing the worldwide walk per trip. Imagine doing that six times plus the actual worldwide walk, just sharing but our lower limbs died that day. On our midnight walk back to the grandstand, I met with trouble from the higher-ups because I uploaded a video footage that wasn't mine which could have put everything we were doing into jeopardy. Out of desperation, I begged a front desk lady from a random hotel to let me connect to their Wi-Fi, only to end up letting me use her hotspot to put the video on private. Thank you. 
This made me rethink everything about my channel to either delete it, put everything on private or enlisted, or stop uploading videos altogether. We'll see in the future. I need to put my thoughts together. The only thing beautiful about that night was the Etiquard meteor shower where pieces from Halley, Halley's Comet lit up the night sky. I shared this experience with my friends uh, Cedric, Jachelle, and Chad, and earlier with my family. Waiting a third of a day felt like years, but passed like the blink of an eye. When the main event began, the last time I was in this kind of environment was most probably the centennial anniversary of the church at Philippine Arena. I convinced myself for a good eight hours that I wasn't sleep and food deprived and that I didn't suffer from any mental illness caused by being outdoors with crowds, lack of space and oxygen, aggravated by loud sounds coupled with bright lights. I threw away the fact that I had a lot of skin related diseases and that I was an introvert with limited social batteries and physical strength. Ooh, that was a mouthful. You know why? Because even after all that we went through, God revealed himself to us in a way no one would have expected, but prayed earnestly for. A miracle visible to the naked eyes of the world. The very instant we went out to the field, the scorching heat was blocked by a filter of clouds and just proclaimed his presence through a series of thunderclaps and lightning strikes without a single drop of rain. For the whole duration, we basked in God's glory, and all I could render were like teardrops in a full smile. I could only summarize that moment as surreal. For the last time, we walked back to our hotel at around 11 a.m., hoping to catch the breakfast for four, and all I could chug on was milk. After a good foot soak and minutes of cleaning and freshening up, I prepared myself for the real walk. Halfway toward the starting point, uh, Kuya Renz, uh, my sister's boyfriend, had to return the key card to the hotel because checkout was at 12 noon. My sister and I got a head start and had to slow down at 750 meters to wait for Kuya to come back. It was a bit annoying that some of the brethren had a lot of side comments, which were so unnecessary, which... Especially since they had no idea what we've been through that day. Even though, even though our legs were on the verge of absolute soreness, we finished the mile. We almost felt what it's like for people experiencing poverty, having no means of transportation, going hungry for long periods of time, lacking sleep and even basic pieces of clothing like shoes. I say almost because what we did was only but a fraction of what they had experiencing every day of their whole lives. All in all, it has been an honor to be part of this victorious campaign for awareness and battling poverty. I can truly say that I am proud to be a member of Iglesia Ni Cristo. Thanks for watching this vlog slash webcam diary. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. <laughs> I hope all is well with you. Till next time, say goodbye, Kitty. I may have failed to mention this in other vlogs, but for the largest human sentence, uh, our local of Madrigal is actually almost at the very center of the sentence. Proud to be a member of Iglesia Ni Cristo. We were the letter I in the me part, and we were one of the only two locales who wore white so we were pretty you know as much a small group of people so here's the thing the card i pasted it on my planner so you know i have it with me for the rest of the year yep that's our id mm. awesome it's worth the sunburn and all the allergies Fly into the light of a dark black night